What's going on YouTube? My name is Ray and I'll be taking x-rays. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a two view chest x-ray in the bed or in the gurney. For this demonstration, we'll be using a gurney. This will be used when your patient condition is not ideal for a routine two view chest. They're not able to stand or your judgment is telling you that the better off staying in the gurney. Always use your best judgment. There will also come a time where you rather take a chance of them standing instead of staying in the gurney because you're lacking the confidence in executing the exam in the gurney. I know because I've been there. So let's get that confidence up so you can avoid being in that situation. This way you'll be poised and ready for whatever condition your patient is in. Chest x-rays account for a majority of the exams you'll be performing in your career. So in my opinion, getting a solid routine down will help you tenfold, especially when you're at the hospital. You ready? Let's go! Do your chest here, all right? Gonna sit you up here. One, two, three. Doing okay? Yeah. Right, take this pillow out here. You're welcome. In a moment, I'm going to put a uh, cold hard board behind your back, all right? All right, here you go. We're going to lean forward a little bit for me. Hard board. We're going to lean back. Have your arms down to your side there, please. Just going to kind of position this a little bit better behind you. Gonna give you a breathing instruction here, okay? okay. Alright, take your breath in, blow that out. Big deep breath in and hold. Breathe. So in a moment, I'm gonna put a, uh, a sponge behind your back, all right? I'm gonna lower these rails down, so just be aware of that, all right? All right, go ahead and lean forward for me, please. All right, right, lean back. There you go. Above your head, can you put both hands on that bar there, please? All right, take your breath in, blow that out, 
Big deep breath in and hold. Breathe. All right, that's it. You can put your arms down. Thank you. So I personally start off with the AP. I've seen other techs start off with the lateral. It doesn't matter. Just as long as you're comfortable with it and you have a routine. Every room is different, so get to know yours and its limitations. Know the ideal location where you should position your gurney so you don't run out of track for your tube. I'm gonna sit you up here. One, two, three. As with any of the exams I perform, I always let my patient know what I'm doing. I feel like it keeps them in the loop, I'm communicating, and it forms some type of trust. I know if I were the patient, I'd like to know what was going on and what and why things were happening to me. What I like to do is I set up my tube first, image receptor later. I limit the time the board is behind my patient and limits the time they are in discomfort, which limits the chance of my patient moving from discomfort. I angle the tube so that's perpendicular to the long axis of the sternum and about three inches below the jugular notch, which is the level of T7. I then roughly collimate to a crosswise 14 by 17. I'll make adjustments later. I need the collimation light so I know where to place my image receptor. All right, in a moment, I'm gonna put a uh, cold hard board behind your back, all right? Here you go, go ahead, lean forward a little bit for me. Hard. I match the top of my image receptor to the top of the light I collimated. Your arms down to your side there, please. If you need to move your image receptor, try to see if you can move your patient instead. Your upper body will thank you. Sometimes it's easier to move the patient than sliding the board behind them. My patient is an average size, but if you have a smaller patient, collimate side to side to the humeral heads. Don't forget your marker and shield your patient. All right, take your breath in, blow that out. Big deep breath in and hold. Breathe. I learned in my program to give my patient two breathing directions. This helps the patient get a more full inspiration on the second. If you were taught the same, give the first set of directions as you're walking out and then the second while you're at the console instead of giving both at the console. It just makes your time more efficient. Also, practice your timing. Make sure you're giving them enough time to actually follow your directions. And make sure you let them fully inspire before you expose. Watch your patient. I detent my tube to 72 inches SID to the wall and collimate 14 by 17 lengthwise and leave it. I do not change this. I place my marker first so I don't have to reach over my patient later. I'm gonna lower these rails down so just be aware of that, all right? Go ahead, lean forward for me, please. All right, lean back. There you go. I drop down the tube so the top of the light is going through the humeral head or at C7. Then bring down the bucky to match the light. If you can't see the laser from your tube to match the bucky, Use the top of the light of your collimation as a reference guide. That should match the top of your bucky. I turn the tube to go with the patient's long axis. And then I move the gurney so there is an inch of light on the sponge. You would know if there's rotation if your patient's shoulders are not perpendicular to the wall. Adjust this by turning the patient or the gurney. Don't forget the rail or any artifacts such as oxygen tubing or wires. All right, take your breath in, blow that out. Big deep breath in, hold, breathe. All right, that's it. You can put your arms down. Thank you. As I said in the intro, 
I used to lack confidence doing a chest exam in the gurney. But just like anything else, it was because of my lack of experience in my repetitions. So as I always say, get in there and get your reps in. It's okay if you mess up, but just as long as you learn from your mistakes. That's the only way you'll learn and grow. Understand why you're making them and continue to fix it on your next exam and the next. Eventually, you'll develop a routine workflow that's tailored to you. You won't even think what the next steps are. Your hands and your body just move. It's subconsciously programmed in your brain. If you found this video helpful, press that like button, subscribe for my expert content, and share this video with others that may find it valuable. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to reply. I have unfortunately fell behind on all my comments, emails, and DMs. Working a full-time job and trying to maintain this YouTube channel is harder than I expected. I truly want to help you all, but I understand that's not realistic. There's just so much free time in my week, but after some time of thinking, I've decided to set aside some time on my days off to dedicate to you. Everyone's situation is different. I may not have replied to your comment or made a video yet to answer your questions. So if you need my personal help, email me at xrayrayc at gmail.com. Just give me a brief description of your situation and I'll talk to you soon. We have greatness within you. I'll see you at the top. My name is Ray and I'll be taking x-rays. I love baby. Peace.